Alright guys, the first thing, it is not pick your fighter, it is actually examine your move list. Now go down to your move list, I need you to go through each and every single one of these moves on this list. I need you to learn them and understand what they do for you. You do not need to use them every damn game, you don't need to memorize all of them, but if you incorporate at least more than half of these moves in a match, you're more likely to come up with more wins, my boy, I promise you. Because not everybody is studying your move list, and there's already over 80 moves in everybody's list. So let's be realistic. If you know at least majority of this list, you can outclass the opponent real quick. Now we're moving on to the second thing. A lot of people may not like this one. It's the heat system. You may not like it, you may not want it, but it's here. It's part of the core gameplay. All we can do is use it, right? So when it comes to heat, I know you guys are not using it enough. You're not incorporating it in combos. You're not using it for the chip damage. You're not using it to take advantage. I need you guys to do better out there, man. Using the heat system in the match, I can guarantee you, bro. You can turn the tide of the whole battle by just throwing that out. And you get it every single round. There's nothing wrong with just throwing it out and using it. But what I don't like to see is people not using it. And that's what I see a lot of. If you utilize the heat system, man, you can actually pull off amazing combos. I can give you an example of some kind of heat combo. It's just something slight. It's nothing big. Pause. And see, there you have it. It's real simple, it's nothing crazy, but it's just something you can use. Another way you're not using heat, boom, someone attacking you, why don't you just stop them? You have armor on this shit. This shit will shut down pretty much so many things. If they're pressing you, you just press right back. Use the heat system, bro, I'm telling you. It's a whole different ball game now with this. Here's another little thing too, heat cancels. You just have to uh, dash back pretty much while you're using heat. Real simple to do. But you can get a little heat pressure going. This is situational. But I think it's pretty cool. And look at that. Right in your damn face, bro. And now there's uh, certain rolls you can do and shit like that to move out of the way. You gotta lab it. Figure that out. I just, you know, dropping a lot knowledge from my players out here for the, for the girl. You know what I mean? But that's some of the dangerous shit you can do with heat. But I can't imagine what the other characters can do. You feel me? So use heat. Another thing that ties in with, uh, we'll call it the third thing. It ties in with the heat system and the move list. It's coming to this section. Oh, let's go to the top. Right here, we got what can be done during heat unique in brackets. Now, this character out of everybody has her own unique skill. Figure out what your character does as their unique skill. I'm just pointing this out as a thing because I feel like a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people like to jump right into ranked, not actually practice, not look at their move list. There's a lot of people out there like that, man. It's crazy. I know. But check this out. Look at your unique skill. I believe some characters have more than one. Uh, very few, I think. And I know someone can heal. I haven't, like, looked around at all the characters yet. I mostly focused on mine. But I know every character has unique skill. Alright, my bad. Definitely forgot to type out the, uh, the third one. But there you go. Unique character properties. But we are on number four. And we are going to the Rage Arts. Now, in this game, in particular, Tekken 8, uh, Rage Arts... You know, they're cinematic, they do their thing, they can be spontaneous, you know what I mean. They are what they are, but they're little movies, they're not as good as they were in 7, I don't think. They are high damaging, one hit moves, and you throw them in a combo, they do get nerfed quite a bit, it's unfortunate actually, but... They are here, and they are not to be thrown out whenever because they are minus 15, so please stop throwing them out online. That is the thing I am trying to tell you. Stop randomly doing them. Use them in your combos. Make the combos nice and sexy with them at the end, you know what I mean? Just throw in a little sprinkles on top. They are not always the most damaging route, though, but they are a good way to end a long uh, combo with a lot of spins, a lot of walls, and a lot of movement, you know what I mean? Use them wisely. You do get more than one each round, whatever, just like the heat. But use them. They are there, they are a tool. But you know, even a small combo, whatever, just throw them out. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Use your rage arts, you have them. They're another tool to possibly win you the game. Now, I'm all types of messed up. I know y'all saw that combo by the four. We don't talk about combos, combos, counters, and small moments. That's a lot of things in one, I know, I know. 
But combos, real simple, bro. Real simple. That's the thing, bro. Find your launchers. This is not the main thing, though. There's like three things in this one thing. But find your launchers. And find your, your safe ones, by the way. Your safe launchers. Because there's a lot of launchers in the game. Like this right here, bro. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. That is unsafe as hell, and I will die if you block that. If you block that. You see this character doing that online. Block it. Punish accordingly. And this is a 15 punish, but unfortunately this is unsafe. Now this one right here, not your typical launcher for everybody, but it's only minus 9. Or minus 8, my bad. You establish your launcher, find your follow-up moves. You make your own moves. You choose what works. If it doesn't connect, drop it, find something else. Let's see if it let's see if it connects. Does it work? It doesn't work. What works better? That works. Oh wait, now we're linking things. I didn't mean to do the, the the big move at the end, but you know what I mean. If you're having trouble with combos, find what works first. There's a million guides on YouTube to, uh, you know, piece together combos. Maybe in my voice you can understand it better, but one step at a time. Find your launch. Find your follow-up. Let's see, what do you want to do? Get the spin next. Like, we can do... Because she needs two follow-ups, so two follow-up. Get a little spin. Do something next. What you do after that is your decision. All you need is your launch. You need your follow-up moves. And you need the spin. You need them to spin out so you can follow up with something else. Whatever you want to do. That is the beauty of combos in Tekken. You can make a thousand of them. It is amazing. With heat in the game, you can make them even cooler looking or even longer. And it's fantastic. This game is amazing so far. But one more thing in the tip 5, or one more thing in thing 5, is the small moments. You ever been in situations like this? You feel me? I looked at him. What? What's going on there? Recognize those small moments. Use it to your advantage. Like that. Can he roll out of there? Possibly. It's a possibility he can. It's a possibility he cannot. But are you taking advantage of that? I need you to start taking advantage of that. If you get things like that happening to you, I need you to take advantage of it. Let's see what else we can show. We got uh, this right here. These little spins right here. Oh fuck, I dropped that like hell. But don't mind me. Oh no, I'm gonna get it together, just give me a second. But you got your spins like this. Boom. You, you saw, right? The little airborns. Now, what can we do with those? Those are small moments, right, where you're like, oh shit, I didn't expect that to happen. That's you. I know it is. Now, she happens to have a really decent follow-up. You need to figure out what to do in those small moments, because this can turn the tide of your whole battle. See, look, you got... That's a pretty good sizable damage amount in a cap. She has pretty good damage, but if I can do more, why wouldn't I do more? You feel me? So, feel like you get this small moment right here, but now you got that. It's a bigger moment. It's small damage. But I, I'm telling you, it adds up, bro. It's so helpful. You just gotta figure out what your character does. And once you figure out your person, you move on to figuring out other people's characters. And that's how you improve all together. Alright guys, we are nearing the end of the video. If you have stuck with me this far, I appreciate you. I just want to help the community in my own voice. Maybe I can help people understand in a different way. Let's try to get the video to two and a half likes, maybe four and a half. But we have arrived to our bonus tip of the evening this is crucial bro this is crucial i promise you it's crucial now if you're used to picking or you're used to going in the game and you're picking your left or you're picking your right side do you play the other side is this you over here on the right side what happened what happened now we're over here you're not you're not locked in you're in trouble you didn't study that side uh oh i did i studied that side i know what to do on that side you see what I mean? Study the other side. That is the bonus tip, okay? Use both sides. If you use both sides, bro, I promise you your gameplay will change. Because in the middle of a match, this shit will happen at any time. And if you don't stop it, you're on the other side and you don't know what to do on that side. You're in trouble. And that is my bonus tip to y'all, bro. Get better at both sides. Don't just stick to one. Practice your combos. You practice one combo, practice it on the other side as well. That way you know how to do it when you come in that situation. You see this situation on the other side. It's, you're better for it. You feel me? Let me swap sides to show you. 
But you're better for it. You see this? Now you know what to do. You did it on the other side, right? It's that simple, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed the five things. I'm wrapping up the video now. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Go watch some other videos on the channel. I'll holla at y'all next time. Just like your combos, I'm dropping out of here.